All right, guys, I'll show you, give you an update here. That's our first pass. Because the deck's pitched out, so you want your outside edge done first, just like a roof, guys. Ice and water shield, tar paper, then start at the bottom. Work your way toward the top. So you overflow off each step. Steps down to the next step. It wouldn't make sense, guys, to do it the other way. Now, uh, we did the first, the second. Now, the reason why we did this here is because this is not a wet area up here. Water ever rarely gets over here. So we laid this strip first so we have a work area. Now, if we was on a deck that wasn't covered, we wouldn't do it this way. We would do that, the middle, then the closest to the house side. So we cut these strips so they go under the wall a little ways. And we, we all around here, guys, we went under the wall. We went back further than the eye can see. Because if when water gets on this deck, it's going to look for a place to get out. And it's going to try to go out through the outside of it where it makes contact with the walls. So as you can see back there, you see, see that edge? See how the hydro stop goes up the side just a tiny bit? Normally we would do that inches high on an area that was prone to heavy water, guys. But this isn't because we got a roof. Now these do see water. That's why this has this membrane on it in the first place. You know, uh, there's another thing we would recommend: finding the lowest spot on this porch and putting some weeping holes. Even though this may have them, I don't know where they are. Um, so you take a quarter inch or a half inch drill bit and find your lowest spot and drill a hole right through, right, right on through to the outside and put a piece of either half inch PVC or copper pipe in there and seal it off, guys. You can put a piece of screen over it. That's right. And that's it. You know, this way the water can get out. Right. It's not the water on the surface that does the damage, guys. It's the water that, that contacts things that aren't meant to get wet. See those rust marks on that post right there? See that? That open? That's all expanded wood from being wet. Now, about a year and a half, about a year ago, guys, we came in here. We replaced that post. See that post? And you guys can go on the videos and check. Big column over there. That big column. We did a couple of those, and when we opened it up, there was nothing inside, guys. It was just glue and uh paint holding that whole thing together we rebuilt that we rebuilt it and we replaced wood guys with uh hardy board hardy board and vinyl is what we use to rebuild it now you have a post that'll live old as old if not older than the building itself solid post will, will last decades guys we said uh at least 20 years before any significant rebuilding is need to be done on, these, on that part of the deck this right here, guys, once we cover this deck, it should be good. And, I, and I'm going to go out on limb and say this. 10 to 15 years. 10 to 15 years, this, this deck shouldn't need any significant work. At all. It could not just for what, what we're doing, but the, the, how we did it. We came in, guys, and we leveled this. We scraped everything. There's carpet chunks hooked to it still, glued to it. We got rid of all of it. We swept it twice and then vacuumed it. We got all the debris out of it, so this stuff is sticking to the floor, not to dust or dirt or right. any loose debris or old paint. You don't want that. We had a, we was talking to a guy earlier today, and we were talking about how excellent this product is, guys. And uh, he said, well, I got mine, and mine's all peeling up, and, you know, and I said, well, it's not done right. Somebody mixed, they mixed two different uh, compounds or two different systems. And the base is staying, but the top coat's just rolling off, peeling off. So, so always check your application, guys. Make sure you're mis you're mi you're using the right stuff. That's right. If, it, if you have a water-based and an oil-based, guys, it's probably not going to work out well. If you have uh, acrylic and uh, acrylic, and even though it's two different brands, it should adhere together. So always know your bases and what you're working with. Um, so we're going to put another coat over this. Two thirds of this piece. Before we start this, right here, last section, we're gonna so roll we that again. Two layers on it, at least there. Yep. Three layers. Now, yeah, we want three layers because we got our base, our fabric with our top coat, with our top base, and then we're gonna do another base over top of our fabric base coat, guys. So we have three layers. 
Now, some people would say, oh, why don't you just throw it on and trowel it flat? You don't want to do that, guys. That's not where your, your strength doesn't come from that. That's right. It comes from the oxidized surface layer. When you have three series of layers, real layers, not just one thick coat, that's where you get your strength and durability. It's in the, the stages of the coats. That's right. The, the oxidized layer is where you get your strength. So you have that strong top layer. And you're using that strong top layer as a foundation to put another coat. Then you have a true two layers, even though it doesn't look like it. If you cut it and looked under it with a microscope, looked at it with a microscope, you would see two distinct layers. If you if you do one thick coat, you don't have strength that way. It looks good, but it's not nearly as durable as two thin coats. Two thin coats will always be out, guys, a thick coat. You're better off with two thin very well applied with a slight pressure on the roller coats oxidized layer between surface at least the surface dry see how that's shiny right there let me show you right there see that's not dry it's not time to recoat that but that down there we can recoat because it, it's oxidized see it doesn't stick now if i was to touch that right there oh you'd see a fingerprint in that and uh yeah, that looks great, Josh. Good job. Good job, man. Yeah, pretty good. And uh, most important thing of all, guys, put your faith in the Lord. That's right. For what's it profit a man to gain the whole world just to lose his soul? Man, that's profound. Think about that, bro. That is profound. Ancient words, guys, of real wisdom. I'll be sure. Peace.